Hey guys, so today we are going to be trying for some Neil Guy. I'm here in a friend of mine's uh, property. Uh, seen Neil Guy here in the past, and I know there's some in here right now because I've seen them. So it's kind of windy, it's probably like about uh, 30 mile an hour winds right now, which is actually good for stocking uh, these Neil Guy. So I'm just going to go in. Uh, into the brush and go walking with that wind to my face and hopefully we come across something so uh, stay tuned thanks for watching okay guys so been in walking in here for probably 10 minutes and this is our first encounter right there diamondback rattlesnake so for those of you guys think that uh, it's probably not a real snake, there she goes. So it's the time of year they're out, and she didn't even rattle, which she doesn't have a rattle for some reason. Right there, she's missing her rattles. So, I gotta be careful because they're out right now. And with this heat, they're gonna be kind of aggressive, although this one isn't. But, let's leave her alone and go on our way. Because, don't wanna be messing with her right now. We'll keep go we're searching for a Neil guy in here. Well, I gotta keep my eyes open though. So after seeing that rattlesnake, I've been keeping my eyes on the ground a little bit more. So I'm probably going to miss some Neil guy walking out in front of me. But they're here. Let me show you some of their droppings. And they got some fresh tracks too. Tracks right there. And some fresh Neil guy. Um potty area is what I call them. They all come and poop in the same place. But if you can see here under me, there's some fresh Neil Guy tracks. They're going that way. <clears throat> so, I'll stay after them. Keep my eyes on the ground for, the, for any more rattlesnakes out here. Because, man, it is, it's at least a hundred right now. The wind's helping though. The wind's keeping this a uh, little cooler. So, Stay tuned. Well, it looks like a cow died over here. A while back though. Bones scattered all over the place. Big cow too. And there's some more Neil guy droppings right there. Kind of old ones, but I got a feeling there's someone, someone in here. Maybe a big bull walking around through here by himself. So I'm gonna stay with it. Well, there was two little. I don't know what they're called, two little hawks. There's their eggs right there, they're laying down right there. There they are. So, they're around here someplace, they were flying around me. But, uh, so far, no Neil guy. The tracks that I've been seeing are Kind of old. I haven't seen any really, really fresh tracks. I've seen some better tracks, but not fresh. So we've been in it for about a couple hours now. So I'm gonna start heading back to the truck. Uh, maybe see something on the way back. Stay tuned. Well, here's something. I don't know what it is. It looks like the jaw of something small.
don't know what that could be. Maybe a possum, small possum, maybe. I don't know. It's got some like canines on it. Small, whatever it was. Huh. Maybe a possum. But uh the new guy, I have no idea. They must have moved on because there's the tracks are very few and far in between. Only seen like maybe three tracks in here that are fairly fresh. Usually it's full of tracks and droppings everywhere, but not today. So I got probably like another uh, maybe three quarters of a mile through the brush and then I'll get out to the field and uh, maybe we'll see something on the way over there. Good brush, just uh, I don't know where they move. They move, they're constantly moving, so they could be here one day and then they'll be gone for a while. So let's continue. You can tell it's pretty much collapsed. Hopefully, it's still in one piece. But uh, I do got to be careful walking around here because I ran into two rattlesnakes here one time. So they may just be under that sucker. So I got to be very careful. And I cleared up a really nice little spot. It's just I never came in here to hunt. Came in here one time with my bow. I didn't come back. So you see all this uh, broken wood here? That's where the rattlesnakes likes to lay up. So I do got to be careful. Big old cow jaw over there. I hadn't noticed that. So I got to be careful down there. I feel like picking it up and taking it home because since I'm not going to use it, I may want to put up a uh, a wooden blind in here later on so this is a really good spot you sit here and you can see those those rolls of hay how they've been tore up the neil guy do come in here and eat uh, so let me ooh tarantula two tarantulas i don't know if you guys can see those So there's two nasty tarantulas right there. Mm. See if I can get my stuff out of here without bothering anybody. Looks like it's still in good shape. It just collapsed, which it's a good thing it collapsed because if not, it would have tore to bits. So let me go around the other side, see if I can loosen up those spikes. And keep my eyes open because you never know, Neil guy could pop out here any minute. One of the problems was when I when I got here this morning, there was six horses right here eating. As soon as they saw my truck, they booked it in there. So it could have been scaring a lot of the animals out of here. So let me see if I can get my blind out of here without getting bit or stung by something. I have put all this up here because uh, this is really a really a good spot. It's nice, uh, nice little spot because it's uh, hid under all these trees. Whee! Yeah, there's another tarantula right there. If you guys can see it, right there. So that's uh, three tarantulas. Woohoo! those guys walking all over you in the morning I'm sure there's more out here so let me see if I can get these spikes out whoa something moved in there guys hope it's not a rattlesnake well you can see tarantulas like these ground blinds there's one two 
three, four, and another one back over there. Five. If you see it, it's under that bush right there, number five. So, woohoo! It's tarantula heaven here, man. I don't know if I want to set up in there again. That black one looks pretty nasty. Well, they all look pretty nasty. So, good thing I got this thing out of there. I'm going to pop it up and see if it's still any good. There may be a couple of tarantulas in that sucker. Well, let's see. Well, hey, guys. Got skunked. Didn't see any Neo guy. Um, I think those horses probably scared him out of this area. There was uh, six horses in here when I came in. Uh, and I didn't find any really, really fresh tracks. I saw some tracks, but they were maybe a week or two old. So I don't think the Neo guy are in here right now. But I guess it beats being at home. So uh, we're going to call it a day and we'll be back at it. Maybe try a different area next time. Uh, I know this uh, dry weather right now, they pretty much have to stick to water and there's no water in here. So I do have another area where I got some water running through it. We're going to give that a try here in the next couple of days. So, hey guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned until the next time.